so <laughs> yeah i'm i'm very i'm very happy my my daughter's been been coming coming back for it. and this is supposed to be uh, a music a music stream and it's gonna be you know i i, I know a lot of people will um uh, uh, I, uh, people that know me will, will know that that you know. Uh, <clears throat> I can, I've, I've been a stage performer, and I, I can really walk out on a stage and, and know a, a lot of tunes. I can do, you know, I don't like to do it uh, really because it's so ugly. There's like some Zappa stuff, you know. I can do the whole um, Alive in the Fillmore 1971. I think the whole is, What's a girl like you doing in a bus? And, um, I'm about to get sick from watching my TV and checking out the news. Tell my eyeballs, fail to see. I mean, you say that every day. It's just another rotten mess. When it's going to change, my friend, it's anybody's guess. So I'm watching and I'm waiting. I'm hoping for the best. You think I go to praying? Every time I hear him saying that there's no way to delay, that trouble coming every day. Yeah, no way to delay. Trouble coming every day. Wednesday, watch the riots. Seen the cop out on the street and you know, watch him throw rocks and stuff. Choking in the heat. Listen to reports of the whiskey passing around. See the smoking fire in the market burning down. Watch why everybody on this street would take a turn, stomp and smash and crash and bash and slash and bust and burn. See, I, I memorized that stuff, and the first, you know, I, I, like I say, I like the the, you know, I, yeah. Watching and I'm waiting, hoping for the best. I can I can go on, you know, I can go to the what, what is it? Um, <clears throat> I seen the fires burn, the local people turn, the merchants in the shops used to sell the rooms and mobs and every other household item, watch them watch the sun and bright them and they say I said them right. Because a few of them was white. It's the same across the nation, black and white discrimination. You know, you can't understand me. All the other jazz they hand me on paper and on TV and all that mass stupidity that seems to grow more every day. Each time you hear them demo say, you want to go and do you in cause the color of your skin. Just don't appeal to him no matter if it's black or white because he's out for blood tonight. You know, I'm watching and I'm waiting, hoping for the best. Even think I go to pray, and every time I think I'm saying that there's no no way to delay that trouble coming every day. Now, if you knew Pegasus, then you know why I feel blue with that. See, I, you know, um, the first thing, like as as a teacher or whatever, I like to share about um, the stage or whatever is, uh, you know, <clears throat> like an opera singer doesn't stand up there on the stage with a libretto, <laughs> you know, the, and think about that for a second you know people memorize the odyssey right everybody does a lot of people do this you know bards or whatever right so the first the first thing to do in it and it, where i grew up you know people were like you know I, I played with this guy alex he really wanted to do hank williams songs and uh he couldn't get the lyrics right to save his soul, right? And he gets so frustrated. Frustration doesn't work. I think the first thing that if, if you're going to be a stage performer, you're going to be able to go out on stage and have a big repertoire, you know, hours of stuff, hours of material, music on demand or whatever, is you need to believe that it's possible, right? <clears throat> Look around you. All the Shakespeare... Richard, you know, like Richard the Third, people, you know, actors do it all the time. It means that um, there, there are various uh, ways that you manage uh, to memorize stuff. For me, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, uh, I work with the visual uh, memory somewhat. So, like, for the Zappa song, I, I have these little images in my mind of... Uh, the fires burning and the marchers turning and stuff like that. on the merchants in the shops and I, who used to sell their brooms and mops and I can see the brooms and mops and every other household item and I see all the, the you know Walmart stuff piled on there you know uh, watch the marchers turn and bite them and you <laughs> visualize these marches with these big teeth you know um, but also like uh, I know the uh, things from like uh, operatic operatic arias right how do you memorize that me come on stick able to do questo io vanno a tempo io vi so basta i comprendo basta basta essa vi la mi credete do you think me so vile 
Esa vila me credete. Do you believe that I'm so low as that? Oh no, no, my, my cat Tomate, I'm afraid. Primo Sempero del Barone. I'm afraid of the Baron. Etra noi mortal questione. There's a, a matter of life, uh, you know, death. There's a mortal question between me and him. Because he took my girl. <laughs> um, and okay, in the example of that, La, Tra La Traviata. Um, uh, I can memorize big uh, parts of La Traviata because I've experienced, you know, the uh, uh, lucky at cards, unlucky in love, and, and losing the dearest love of my life, you know. Right, this goes back to that Lacanian realization. Really, uh, uh, in, uh, and I recently posted this on, on Facebook, if you go back to Hegel's Phenomenology of Mind, sometimes translated as Phenomenology of Spirit, right? It's like, you know, there's a linguist, a visual linguistic construct, right? So when somebody's passionately in love with someone, they have an idea of the person. And the idea is really all they have. Uh, uh, um, and when that idea comes into conflict with reality, right, as in the case of La Traviata, it's a very big shock, you know, uh, and um, it, it sort of it's almost drives the person to madness, Alfredo, right? Um, so uh, that's, this is another thing, remembering uh, opera, big, long opera passages, uh, um, Sacadrapa <laughs> The guy goes crazy. Right? It's, uh, you know, the guy's, there's a love triangle, right? The guy's losing his mind. And um, I have a very strong uh, uh, visual memory of the, you know, so disappointed to hear that um, Placido Domingo did womanizing with all the singers that he worked with. That's so disappointing. You know, it's like, for for me, he was such a a sacred uh, uh, representative, you know, and I'm just like, how could you besmirch you know, greatness? Fool around with chicks. Well, the fact of the matter is, is he's probably where he is trying to fool around with chicks, right? So, yeah, naturally. Uh, um... You know, create. This is the thing that Freud says: is uh, all all creative endeavor emanates from the base libidinal drive, which is a reproductive, uh, the reproductive instinct, right? So, sex is really at the bottom of it. <laughs> That's what he would say, uh, uh, or destruction, right? He said there are two uh, two basic underlying drives that they detect, and one is. Totus drive, the death drive, right? And the other one is the libido drive, the libido. And all creativity comes out of that, you know. Brilliance. Even he knew it was another mystification. But um, what am I talking about? Rambling on at the mouth. Well, no, I'm trying to I'm trying to help you as as a performer, and I see this is a real problem in my state. I see people, you know, even people that I really respect as musicians. I'm like, okay, you know, here's uh, 20 songs or something like that. To me, the dang songs are. <laughs> I'm looking at them, and they look like every one of them is a dang same song. You want to go? You need to go rehearse that for hours. And I'm telling you, I wit I'm a witness to this. When I was in Beijing. You could walk up on stage and you're surrounded by musicians that are so good that you could go, okay, this is in the key of A, the bridge does this. And they would all play together like they had rehearsed it 
over and over again because uh, their their knowledge of, of music and music theory and the way notes fit together and to make a popular song or whatever would just make it where yeah they're all the same you know like that and people would literally say to us how many years have you been rehearsing together and yet here here in georgia you know you 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 go to people and it's like yeah practice and practice and practice and practice and they can't get it right they can't get it right and stuff Ooh, dragging me down, dragging me down, dragging me down. I, I want to, um, so the, the big point I'm trying to make here is like, first thing, if, if, if you want to, you know, be a performer that walks out on a stage and just has this whole repertoire and just does it, you know, just boom, right? You have, you have to believe that it's possible. That's a very important step. And in order, and I made my, the rhetorical line that I'm following here is like, look around you and look at all the people that do Shakespeare and, and Hamlet, Richard the Third, you know, uh, and, and Macbeth, uh, you, you know, that, and look, okay, and, and drunkards too. And I, I'm sorry, Anthony Hopkins, I, I don't think you're really a drunkard now. Well, you might still be an alcoholic, but, you know, look at how outstanding his performance is. And you can sort of look at him and see that he's got a drinking problem because he's got that kind of I've been drinking a lot kind of look or something like that. Uh, Hannibal Lecter or something, uh, you know, like a, a real heavy, heavy drinker. And I've, I, and I don't know for a fact, but I've, I've heard that he was uh, alcoholic and that he was in AA or whatever. But look, even somebody that drinks like that. Memorize the entire Titus and Andronicus, you know, Shakespeare play, and uh, he did, uh, I think, King Lear, and I couldn't, I couldn't watch, you know, I, w I watched about about twenty or twenty minutes of it, and I already choked up. I was crying. It was a powerful performance, right? Well, these these are these people are all over the place, right? <laughs> so you can be like that too, but if you don't believe it's possible, you're not going to do what you need to do. Now, what I'm going to I'm going to try to do today is, um, and as I mentioned last night, uh, I, I had <clears throat> done some songs with, um, putting them together on, on garage band. And I, I was trying to get like a tight little, uh, thing down so I could get, you know, the couple of guitars, bass, couple of vocals, right? The drums and everything, get that down. And then, come on live with that in, in the in the background with a final track on top of it that I deliver on OBS and then and then what I'm I'm envisioning um is um I'd like another musician to stream my stream and their stream and put more tracks down on top of it maybe 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 um right and then yeah go back and forth like that so and one one thing that could be done is like uh, I'm envisioning. Uh, I know there's some kind of. Uh, I've I've observed that there's a, a degradation. Like if I if I stream myself in a stream and stream a stream of my stream of the stream or whatever, it starts to get muddy, right? And I'm sure that there's some really well known principle of electronic audio that I should be aware of that I'm not because uh, uh, I haven't been doing it all the time um, but this awful I really you know this is the worst thing about the GOM player is um, Every time you stop a GOM player, it puts it lo it loads a browser. Who wants that? Nobody. That is the most awful uh, thing. Stinks about the GOM player. And I have to I have to question myself. Why? Okay, what am I doing here? All right. You you notice I opened up something. This is a Google Doc. And uh, I, I like uh, in the Opera GX settings the fact that I can do this for start pages. But whenever I do it, um, it, uh, it turns off when I, when I reload. I need to go, go back or whatever. So um, I was just uh, uh, throwing down uh, songs here. Um, 
Oh, and look. Let's see. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe this is really not as bad as I thought it was. was. Uh, we'll see. I, I may change my plan and just get back on this where I where I left off, and I, I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Now that your pictures in the paper being rhythmically admired, I always said perfectly, perfectly admired. Oh, look how perfect she is, and you can have anyone that you have ever desired. Alright, so. I was on Prodex Blue and, um, I think Capital Radio, uh, comes after that and stuff and I, I don't have the the lyrics to Prodex Blue here but this is kind of I want to put a gap here alright um, and uh, I'd almost like to well okay uh, I've got some Clash songs that I was working on that uh, I need to bring up in here but um what 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 is it, dear? That's my daughter making her calling of angels. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm 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 up in I'm up in the air. I'm I, I was kind of like a. Well, I did all these songs. What what was going through my mind is this. It's like I did all these Clash songs, and that, that file, when I opened it today on GarageBand, the one from last night, if you saw that, um, it was okay. Nothing was missing, right? But um, what, I, what I need to do here is I have God Save the Queen. And um, I'm trying to decide what to do here well let's uh let, let's see what our tempo is like so i've got garage band here so let's see i've got uh bluebird god save the queen the precious the regime they made you a moron potential wage bomb god save the queen she ain't no human being okay yeah I'm on a submarine mission for you, baby I feel the way you are going Picked you up on a TV screen Nothing but I wanna be a seven I had enough of this This is brainwashing, this is a clue To the stars who fool you Tell me why you can explain Yeah, so these are good for sex Don't know what I'm on and wanna destroy the passerby. Okay. So that's baseline what I have. And I, I you know, uh, I, I think it would be a good place to, uh, to go in and do like what I did with the clash songs. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, sort of guide you uh, guide you through what what I, I did. Um and and because uh, my Mac is uh, going into my computer, right? Uh, it, it's like uh, I, I go out uh, from the Mac on GarageBand. This microphone goes into the interface for the Mac, which is a Impact Twin TP-Link. Costs you about a hundred dollars, right? And the MacBook 
an uh, ancient MacBook like this that costs cost you about three hundred dollars, right? So that's about a four hundred dollar setup there. And then I don't know, maybe another ninety bucks for a four channel Behringer mixer, which is a USB mixer. Uh, the I come out of the Impact Twin, which is getting um, my my microphone and it's getting my guitar. Um, and I, I come out of that and I go line out and then into the Bar Behringer uh, line in mixer. And the thing I really am finding that I like about this configuration uh, is that uh, what what is coming to the Mac is uh, uh, to the PC that I'm streaming with is just that that signal. It's coming in through the mixer board, uh, the USB, and it's not putting a big you know, it's not even showing on the radar as far as, you know, dragging my system down. On the other hand, if I was doing it where, you know, I, I was going into m uh, my mixer and running audio uh, software on my computer in addition to OBS and I had multiple things running or whatever, it's going to be, it's going to affect performance. So I sort of like this setup and I, I, um, I'm wondering if they're they're better better ideas or something like that. So on uh, GarageBand, if you open up GarageBand, you have like a songwriter option there. It's like a guitarist kind of basic a basic band layout. And I don't know if this is the best way to do things. I really you know it comes in with a. a three guitars, tracking vocal, drums. Uh, a, a grand piano, you know, all this stuff, and I don't use it, right? I just like it because it opens up with uh, with the the drum the drum channel there. Um, there's probably a, what I'm trying to say is there's probably a better way to do it. Um, I never studied it; I just opened it and started using it, you know, randomly, right? Okay, so. Uh, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about um, uh, God Save the Queen. Now, what I've gone in and I've set I've set the B, BPM, the beats per minute, to 180. You just click on the number and type type 180 there, and then that changes your beat. And then I I, I drag it out uh, um, on GarageBand when you when you highlight the edge there you put the mouse in these different positions and one just drags the drums out in a solid piece, right? Just a solid as far as you want, right? And that's what I've done. If you highlight it where this little circular thing appears, if you, if you highlight it where this uh, little circular thing appears, it's going to take a loop, right? And then it's going to be loop, 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 and um, um, yeah, I I don't like that. Um, and I I can't put my finger on why I don't, but I I had some bad experience, and you know, it was so traumatic that my it's suppressed forever in my unconscious mind, you know. But yeah, I don't like the loops. At least when I'm doing what I'm doing right now, so. Um, what what I've got here in front of me is like well, I I find like you you'll see I I can, I'll prove it to you. Here's you said he's reading the lyrics. Well, sometimes uh, it's useful, but so I'm gonna close my eyes. God save the queen, the fascist regime. They made him a modern potential age bomb. God save the queen, she ain't no human being. There ain't no future in England's dreaming. Right, so. Um, the couple of pro, you know, one of the things, if you're trying to get your, uh, your, your thing down, what part of part, you know, I, I'm a teacher, right? So 
part of the reason that, that I'm out here and I'm doing this this way is I know that I can walk on stage and, and do these songs. Hey, it's Sadia. How you doing? I'm doing a, like a kind of a music class thing. Dear, you want to do some, uh, this is uh, more of my math students and Macarena battle, uh, battle partner and my, and my, 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 my sister, <laughs> my adopted sister. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's her, that's her in the bottom corner. You see my slide there of us winning matches together. Oh, oh, you, you're having to work. Okay. What do you, what do you, what's your, what's your work? You have to work and go to school. I had to do that. Yeah, when I went to college, or, or and uh, I, I don't know, or you, you might be like right getting ready to begin college, or either, or um, I, I'm I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's a, it's okay. I just was worried that um, you know, a, a bunch of people were crowding in to do matches with me, and Oh, tuition and lecture. So you have to give lectures or you have to listen to lectures um, and work for tuition. Yeah, I had to work. I was what in, in the United States, we have a thing uh, called the Pell Grant. And it's uh, it's really awful because um, you and it's and co-op. Right. So uh, poor people are eligible for this money uh, to go to school. But the money that they give you is not really enough to get by on, right? So the tendency is uh, that, uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah. And you have to pay attention to that. Um, this is another thing where diet uh, and health uh, uh, comes in is that uh, according to, to what you're eating and the chemistry of your body or whatever, your ability to uh, be receptive uh, to a professor is, is better. And, um, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just going to make an aside about, about life in school for younger people, because, um, uh, I think it's, I think it's a very important survival thing. And Noam Chomsky has said something very similar, similar to what I'm about to say. It's like, um, when you're, when you're much younger, Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm coming at 5, 5 p.m. on your time, right? I've got to figure out her time. She's in India. Um, but um, when, you're, when you're very young, you know, you're very passionate about things and very uh, uh, emotional and stuff. And um, oftentimes people that are PhDs in institutions, they've, they're, they're people who have been ground down and, and defeated, uh, um, and really, they're moving into, you know, their position in a department or something like that, really because people that were blocking them either died or retired, you know, or something like that. That Their entire life, somebody was there uh, stopping them and stuff. And, and you shouldn't, you know, one of the things is how to avoid that. And one of, one of the things is, is when you're, when you're in school, uh, just... Uh, keep quiet and do your work and don't, don't, uh, make waves, uh, because the teacher that's up there may be someone or very often is someone who had their great dreams crushed and their aspiration, their youthful aspirations crushed throughout their academic career. And they're just waiting to crush yours. Right. And if, if, uh, if you fly under the radar, they don't notice you. You know, they're like the, the, oh, you know, I had that guy for, I don't really remember, you know, his paper was okay. Uh, and in, in places like India where there's a lot of people, I, I love just, uh, also, um, in, in India, one of my friends from India said, and he was like this, you know, maybe you want to be an artist. Well, first you get an electrical engineering degree or you get a computer, computer science degree, and then you study after you get that, you know, then you study what you want, you know, which is maybe painting or something like that. Uh, and I don't know how, how, how that is. But I also know that India and some of the schools in India, the, there's a big problem with the overpopulate. You know, the teachers are overworked and there's too many people. And so uh, as a teacher, I love to collect uh, uh, test papers 
uh, that that students write, and I, I have to look. I'm, I'm not sure where I've hidden all these things, but I had a lot of uh, test papers from engineering students in India. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the thing the in, in the I had these test papers where you know the the student would begin writing up at the at at the top of the test paper this electrical engineering article and he's t he's talking about a circuit and he's talking about you know uh the you know how the resistor and everything like this and and the the switch and all this stuff and then just about a third down through the page he starts talking about this bollywood actress action scene right in a movie and she's you know like she's jumping from a speeding car and landing on a motorcycle or so you know something crazy and uh and and, and the 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 professor you know it's like on, on there's a there's a good grade on the on the paper right it's clear right the the professor had hundreds and hundreds of papers right and the and the the professor just read down the page to like one third he's like everything here is correct okay i'm done with this paper it's this is a good student you know that's fine and then the student wrote this long several page uh <laughs> Description of a of a Bollywood action movie scene. It's hilarious. Uh, and uh, uh, Chinese uh, students uh, do very very witty things like that too. But the the uh, the teachers oftentimes in, in China are very uh, they don't like that you make jokes about uh, stuff or, or make fun of Chinese literature or something like that or you know uh, or the, there's the, the, this this is a funny thing. There's an English test, right? And the student writes the answers to the the English test. All right now, when you say the word bus, like a bus, you know, you get on a bus, you catch a bus, you ride a bus, or whatever, like that. China Chinese people they they have a syllabic language, and they have terminal uh, ng or whatever, or terminal n. It's kind of like Japanese in that characteristic. It's a syllabic, and it has only one real terminal consonant, which is sort of like ng, and it's really soft, so it's almost like a terminal n, right? But um, um, they don't have bus, the sound bus, right? Okay, so, but that sounds like bus, right, ba, bus, which is my father died, right? So... The, you're supposed to write the answer on the test, and it says, you know, write what is a bus, you know. It's supposed to be gong gong chi cha, right? That's the Chinese word for it, public bus. Right? And the student wrote, my father died. <laughs> bus. And then there's another uh, thing on the test. It's like uh, uh, girls, all right, girls. Guys. The Chinese doesn't have the sound for girls. They don't. They don't have that, right? So, but they have guys, 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 guys. But that's like should die, which is like damnable or damned, right? <laughs> so, girls. The the student writes guys. <laughs> And uh, Chinese, yeah, China, they're Chinese test papers that are really, really funny like that. Uh, uh, and I, I also collect like uh, the the the, uh, uh, the 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 ones in the United States. There's whole books of the ones in the United States. Where was Hadrian's Wall? Well, it's around Hadrian's Garden, right? Where was the Peloponnesian War? Where did the Peloponnesian War take place? It took place in Peloponnesia. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, uh i i love uh i, I love those uh, uh those kind of tests but uh i should i should do some some music here so um and i i'm 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 wondering sadia i don't know if you're if you're still here the uh um can you get your own discord or did your brother figure out how you can add the real mystic mask on discord shout out to everyone who adds the real Mystic Mask on Discord. All right, and I'm trying to give music classes too, so there's a PayPal me link there. Just PayPal me slash uh, David McBride 1963. There needs to be a real Mystic, the real Mystic, mystic Mask. All right, so um, 
so where I was on, on talking about uh, uh, putting stuff down, a, cu- a couple of things. Um, with the song uh, God Save the Queen of, of the Sex Pistols, um, uh, there's a tendency, like if I go out on stage to play it, it's uh, it, it's good for me to have uh, 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 reviewed it a little bit because um, uh, the pre-chorus, as they call it here, is uh, don't be told uh, what you want to want to and don't be told what you want to need. Don't be told what you want to and uh, don't be told now. And, uh, uh, I, I I always thought it was now they borrowed just what you wanted and now they borrowed just what you need. And my tendency, if I'm not looking at the lyrics, is to say that, which is sort of incorrect, but that's okay. All right, it's kind of funny. It's like uh, Jimi Hendrix, excuse me while I kiss the sky, like the sky, you know, put throw his head back and uh, kiss heaven, right? But people are like, Kiss the sky, right? It does sound like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, you want to kiss the sky? <laughs> kiss a guy, what? Um, okay, you're going to come on Discord later? That's wonderful. Awesome. So, um, uh, yeah, people will get lyrics wrong, and it's kind of funny. I do that with Elvis Costello songs all the time. Uh, so that's, that's one reason why it's good to... Um, to, to look at this. Also, I'll forget the bridge, so it's something like... No. And see, I forgot it, right? So, before I even start putting this down, uh, I should I should remember uh, what the... Uh, uh, it, it seems like it's F sharp to B or something like that. Um, but uh, how would I do that? I think I've got a, a ultimate guitar over here, which I swear by that. Okay. Oh, and it's on cheat, cheat, cheat. No reason to prepare. Cheat, cheat, or don't get anywhere. All right. So I'm I'm going through how how I do this. Um, And feel free, uh, yeah. If 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 you guys know better and faster ways to to get stuff done, I mean, I just I, I feel like, man, we got a crisis here where people can't uh, can't get music going anymore, especially down here in 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 uh, in Georgia where the uh, uh, it's going all to these DJs, right? They're just like on Molly, which is, you know, Molly is like, who knows what that is. It's uh, some powder that they got in the club. Maybe dog tranquilizers or something. Um, don't, you know, do that. I was given... The first time I went to, uh, and I mentioned this, uh, tell the story or whatever, is uh, when I was very young, I didn't really get much drugs because we didn't have money for drugs. <laughs> uh, and I, when I went to Paideia School in Atlanta the first time, I was around all these rich kids. You know, some of their parents were dealers and stuff because, you know, they were rich. <laughs> they were drug dealers or whatever. And, uh, or, or, you know, they, they, or they needed money to pay for law school or something like that. So they, they you know, would deal drugs on the side of where. So, so there was drugs everywhere. And I was kind of scared of, uh, of, of, of LSD. <laughs> and like on this one 4th of July, this, and it came, came to my mind because the 4th of July came up again. These guys were, had this blotter. It's like a little stamp, right? And uh, uh, I really, you know, it's like I didn't have money for that and I was scared of it. And uh, really, I just take a little tiny piece of like a one corner of, of one, right? Like one fourth. Uh, of, of one if somebody was like come on all the kids are doing it peer pressure or whatever you know uh, but this time 
it was 4th of July, and this group of kids that I was with, they were like, it's 4th of July, let's take a quad dose, let's take four, right? Well, unbeknownst to them, the sheet of, of the that drug that they had was, was uh, it was quad dipped for the 4th of July. The, the people that were like, hey, let's just dose it up, you know, have a, you know, roll out the barrel for the 4th of July or whatever. So these uh, kids that had been taken like, uh, one took four, which means that they took 16. <laughs> and I, you know, I took one, which means I got a whole one, right? <laughs> so it was, it was uh, 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 definitely a mind expanding experience. There's some, uh, uh, and you know, I was just a, a kid, maybe 17, 16 years old. And, uh, um, um, but I had to, uh, a lot of the, the kids that night were they they were they lost their minds man they were really out of it and i had to sort of manage them and and get them back home and get them to shelter and one one of the guys was so crazy and hysterical or whatever that you know i had to i had to talk to him for hours (laughs) before he finally uh, was able to drift off to sleep but i i took you know when i got back from china we didn't have, you, you never, I never saw drugs floating around in China. You know, it was just like very, uh, the the history of opioids in the country and everything, you know, they're, they're very harsh on drugs and you don't see, see. But as soon as I got back uh, from China, I'm going and doing photography for some of these rave shows. And that's what I saw. I saw that kids were uh, taking powders and stuff that they were getting uh, in the clubs. And my God, don't ever do that. <laughs> You don't know what that is, <laughs> All right? It could be, <laughs> man. It could be a Mickey. You know, you wake up in somebody's trunk or something. <laughs> Very dangerous to do that. But somebody said they were explaining. They were like, "Well, we take that because it makes the music sound good." I was like, I was wondering, you know, because the music was so bad. There, it's like just uh, these DJs doing all this sampling stuff, and everybody's dancing. You know, it's like. It's like, is that music? It's just sort of like random sound. You know, I'm trying to get into it. You know, I, I really appreciate some some abstract or, or new music like uh, Para Ubu or something. Really, uh, you know, I did. But I, I couldn't get into this stuff. And I wasn't taking the powders, you know. But I was like, well, you take that stuff. Like, well, it makes the music sound good. You take it to make the music sound good. Oh, so the music does really sound bad to everybody. They just take a drug and it makes it sound good. Terrible. <laughs> okay, so back to my thing. Uh, looking for the bridge. Um, I should bring this over here. Um. Sorry. That's an E. Um, all right. So, yeah, F sharp B times three, and then F sharp E. What did I do? Did I do that? Oh, no. I, I did F sharp uh, A. That's why it was wrong. Okay. So, yeah, it is. You know, and this is a thing, too. When you go... Um, Past lives. You're saying listen to the song Past Lives? I can't right now, dear. I'm in the middle of a class. <laughs> but I, I do I do wanna I do wanna hear this song. <laughs> Alright, my daughter is having having a blast, right? She's in, in Roblox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine having a uh, uh, she has a a, a good time and a, you know, I'm She's my only only child or whatever, and I, I'm not a I'm I'm not a big authoritarian and, and disciplinarian or whatever, because I, I find that she learns a lot very rapidly, uh, just having a good time, and uh, I think that that's an important thing. I gave my wife a book about that. My wife threw it in the trash. It was about it was about babies' minds and stuff, and it's like you ought to read this. You know, you're getting in these arguments with her, and you know I'm really I'm really trying to help my wife. I'm, I'm much older than her, and if uh, if, uh, if I pass away or something like that, 
Um, oh, okay. If I if I pass a if I pass a pass away, I want you know my my daughter and my wife to have have a good relationship. But if she tries to, you know, use force and spankings and violence and stuff like that, the way that was done with her in the Philippines and the way that was done with me, I know that the result of that is generally your child is going to stay away from you. Uh, I stayed away from my mother for many years. Too many bad memories. My sisters were never reconciled, reconciled to my mother. And uh, my mother is actually a very wonderful, uh, uh, nice uh, a person. It was the circumstances that led to too much uh, whippings and, and violence and, and society expecting that and uh, frowning on her being a single parent. Well, she was raped, uh, you know, and there was no abortion, so she had to have kids. Uh, um, <laughs> That's great. Okay, so God save the queen, the fascist regime. They made you a moron, potential H bomb. God save the queen. She ain't no human being. <laughs> she is a... There ain't no future in England's dreaming. See, I just did it just now. So I should I should be able to do it. I should not have this up in front of me because that's just gonna uh, con confuse me. But uh, to get to get down to business and get it get it done quick, um, uh, I'm gonna scroll up to the. Uh, all right, so let's see. Select the track. I'm going to go to track on GarageBand and go uh, new track and uh, select a guitar track. And uh, this is going to be the beginning of like a Sex Pistols file. And I'm going to go to uh, on GarageBand uh, the clean. Amazing Tweed. Alright, so uh, let's try it. One, two, three, four.
just sort of want to start to get that down there. And um, what what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is uh, go ahead. Well, uh, actually, I want to I want to scroll down on my my lyric page here. So. Yeah, that that was right. Okay, so uh, there is no future in England streaming, and then, you know, I do that a bunch of times. That's that's the end of it. Okay, so that's that's right. Um. So I go to GarageBand now, and I go to track, and I go new track with duplicate settings. I'm gonna hit return to the beginning of the song. Um make sure that that I'm on my track now uh, I said this earlier but I'm gonna say it again um, I since my my Mac is like running through my system if I try to um, and I did this I tried to do this on Google classroom I was trying to get my Mac screen uh, shared as a source on this computer and uh, um, uh, so I could s show exactly what I was doing and I think there might be a good way to do it but but um, uh, the ways that I tried before uh, the ways that I tried before uh, it's <laughs> there was a big problem with feedback and uh, I just have time to work on it so um, we'll problem solve later but so okay um, if you could see you would notice that the track amazing tweed uh, guitar patch or whatever that I'm using that I laid down that it's showing in the uh, in the display at the bottom of the of the the screen that's the one that's showing and it's highlighted in the play region right okay so but uh, the new track that I added is the one that's activated so Let's t jump in.
uh, track two, right? So uh, I got, yeah, I, I, well, okay, if you, if you notice, I'm like uh, letting go a little bit on, on the lyrics. And th this, is a, this is a problem in this, this motivation or, or, or the way that I'm doing here is I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to let go of where the lyrics are going because really I'm not putting down lyrics right now. I'm just trying to get the guitar right. And it's sort of, you know, I'm, I've got this inner conflict. It's sort of like it's, it's harder to play, to play as tight as you can play because it's like juggling when you're singing at the same time. Some people never master that, and then so I'll just be a lead guitarist, and I'm never gonna sing at the same time. I just can't. All right, so in Garage Band, I hit the return to the beginning of the song, and uh, my amazing tweet that I just laid down is now the one that's highlighted. I go to track, track, uh, new track with duplicate settings, and I put down another uh, amazing, amazing tweet. Now. Having said what I just said, I think uh, um, I should uh, uh, pay pay attention to my lyrics a, a little bit. Don't be told what you want to want to. Don't be told what you want to want to. Don't be told what you want to want to and don't be told what you want to need. Don't be told what you want to want to and don't be told what you want to need. Right. That's the uh, correct one. That's addressing consumerism. Right. right. All right. So let's go. Uh, Daddy's going to go get your juice right now so you can uh, be uh, hydro, hydronizationalization behind it. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to go to intermission and uh, oh. oh, where's your cup? Let's see. Hey, what's all this food over here? You got to eat it so you'll get your uh, chocolate ice cream. Man, this is really good chocolate milk. I don't know why it
Check it out. Special. Now, now don't you want a big chunk of ice cream and a popsicle? Would you like that? Just eat this one last bit. Okay, let me get your plate. I'm going to get the ice cream.
Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> uh. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my beloved ice cream bar. How I love to lick your creamy center. And you're also nutty chocolate covering. You're not like the others. <laughs> you like the same things I do. Wax paper. Both. Yeah, you're not like the others. You like the same things I do. It's actually a line from a movie, uh, Peter Lorre's uh, Mad Love. <laughs> if you knew the same, what the same things were. <laughs> Mad Love is a classic. Yeah, it's kind of a goofy movie, but but it's good. Okay, so there, where were we? Let's say... Um, Was I here? I think I might have been. Yeah, Freya's true. Yeah, and I want her to have fun. I'm glad she's in here with me. Um, but back to getting this done. I can just, when I come out of, uh, when I abort like that, I can just hit the delete key. Well, theoretically, I can. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, edit. Okay, now now that I drink, as soon as I bring down the drop down, the delete is finally carried out. Okay, so I return the playhead back to the top. And now that she has a bowl of chocolate ice cream, perhaps we'll be able to get this track down. All right, so. Uh, don't be told what you want to want to, and don't be told what you want to need. Don't be told, and don't be told what you want to need. Okay, so. And yeah, the, this, is, this is the thing. That, that second track, when I went to the second track, I didn't uh, stay, you know, here's what's going through my mind. I'm like, well, 
when I'm in a seated position like this, it's not really a good stage performance uh, position for the voice, for singing and stuff like that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but it shouldn't be an excuse. Like part of the reason that you know these songs, if you put down some tracks like this, is because uh, um, if you if you sing with all the uh, the the tracks, that's that many times you repeated it over and over again. So. Uh, let's just jump in and see if we can get it right. Just want to get that track down. Hmm. All right. Uh, what was I doing? I, I think yeah. So now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, return to the beginning of the song. Go to track, new track. And I'm gonna get old Sid Vicious in there. Well, probably not. Not Sid playing that, actually. But um, I'm going for clean bass, and uh, I'm I'm using my '60s combo patch. What? You're you're waiting. You're waiting to oh. Oh, when I play Macarena. <laughs> Did I play, you know, it's like, uh, uh, it's all um, uh, a blur this morning. Um, how much longer are you going to be on? Maybe I'll get back on. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe, hold on, let's see how this stream is going. Okay, this is, 
an hour and a half. We really, I really want to tighten these up, but we will uh, do that. I'm getting ready to put a bass track down. All right, so, and now, that's the bass sound that I have with this uh, a 60s combo. And I'm just gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. the beginning and the problem was again that I, I wasn't coming in uh, with the lyrics the lyrics are going to help me uh, be able to keep track of where I am without a score in front of me with measures and stuff like that telling me where I'm supposed to be okay so let's start over I want to play it too so maybe I will but let's see if we can get <clears throat> throw my shoulders back so, la 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 open my throat up uh, <clears throat> and don't scream and I, I'm I'm trying to you know I, I, um, not do bad things to my voice um 
All right, so I'm going. I'm going to track, and one one of the things that that I do is to get that kind of screamy effect. I go to GarageBand, I go track new track, and I go and I get a vocal track. Voice. Hold, hold on, and I'm I'm gonna put a fuzz vocal, and that's gonna give me this. <laughs> What is it there? Oh, you would not believe. Can you, can you see that? Wow. Look, look at her here. It's on the live stream. You see, I can see her screen there. She made like a flower a garden a yeah. drawing. And it's like a pixel. It's a pixel drawing of, uh, of a garden uh, and with two little daisy flowers, yeah. little pansies and stuff. Oh, wasn't that nice? Okay. Mm. Where are the flowers? Where are the flowers in your dustbin? Where are the poison in your human machine? Where are the future? Where are the future? I know she is. She is the future. Freya is the future. So get ready, folks. Here she comes. She's dancing beneath the stormy skies. I kind of like the way, like the way she chips. What is it that says? I forget the lyrics. Alright, um now th this is this is a thing. Uh just to get a little bit mood here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back uh, off the vocal track and I'm gonna take uh my first amazing uh tweed and uh change it to make sure my guitar's turned now. I think I'm pretty sure it is turned now. Uh, turn this to burning tweed and uh, then go back to the fuzz fuzz vocal and uh, let's get this show on the road I'll cut that out later You might be There is no future And he means Dreaming Now they turn out of what you want to And don't be turn out of what you mean There's no future No future No future for you God save the queen We need it, man We love our queen God save Cause tourists are money You're not again Not what you say Got Oh Lord God have mercy Our crimes are pain When there's no future Can I be seen When the flowers in your dustbin When the boys are
okay, yeah, notice the the this is this is a thing. You know, you don't have a I, I don't have a foot switch here. Hold on a second, let me switch to tracking. Am I am I is this tracking vocal gonna activate? It doesn't. And I, I don't know why it doesn't activate by default. But okay, my daughter, she she drew first on this pixel uh thing, uh a pixel art. She drew like a garden, you know, and she drew two flowers and they looked, you know, it looked really cool. And then she drew a very cute girl with a ponytail uh, and it, she she used the cuteness skill. skill. In, in other words, she, she sort of drew it sort of gotcha style where the head is like really large, like a, it looks like a, the LOL, doesn't it? It's like the LOL girl. So she drew that. And uh, and then she put the sun up in the sky over her head. It's just absolutely, uh, it's like the next uh, uh, Raphael. That's what it's going to be. That's, that's right. You bet. All right. So I I am interested. Uh, like. Um, There's no, th this is a, a problem. When, when you have that kind of really heavy distortion like that, um, uh, usually there's a foot switch, right? So until you know the strings are vibrating over the pickup, <laughs> you don't, <laughs> you don't turn it on, right? So what I did is I just switched, um, I just switched it uh, on and I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to have to look at this, but I, I'd like to see if there's a way I can just cut, uh, cut that little bit of hiss off of it, um, um, because it, it sort, of, it sort of makes it a little bit easier, um, uh, to, to put it down with clean guitar. Uh, I sort of liked, like the idea of, of putting it down really clean. So you know everything is just how you want it, and then putting the distortion down afterwards. Uh, I really, I really sort of dig that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is get ready for the next uh, vocal track. So I'm going back, and I've got this thing that I've converted to distorted guitar. I'm going to set it back to uh, amazing uh, tweet. And let's let let's see. I'm I'm going uh, back to the beginning. It seems like the second time you change the patch out, the title doesn't change anymore. Yeah, see, that's where I was getting. I'll cut that out later. Yeah, she's making it bigger, and it looks great. I can see it in the reflection on my Mac. It's like uh, my Mac is in the perfect position to look at my daughter's uh, screen, and, and she did. She did. She made it larger. That's really cool. You see over here? You can see it over here in the reflection. You see that? You have to be where Daddy is. Do you see your reflect the reflection? Here, come here. Come here. You see the reflection in the screen of your of your picture in the, on the on the MacBook screen? Isn't that wonderful? Wow. Yeah, early childhood education. The reflection, right? That's the property of glass is that it has a reflective surface and you can see images of things that are reflected by the rays of light bouncing off the object, hitting the screens and, and the reflective surfaces forms the image very clearly, crystal clear, and you can see it. Isn't that a trip? Okay. So, Re really, I actually, I'm going to look at this right now. I am. If I go back, go to I, I sort of want the distorted guitar. Now I'm addicted to it, right? So, um, burning tweed. And what what I'm gonna do since I know I'm gonna go I've got I've got the track selected up to where the actual I can see where the waveform starts where where the pick actually hits the strings. 
So before that, I don't want anything. So what I'm going to go edit uh, or track. What? Hold on a second. Let's take a look at my daughter's fabulous artwork. What? Oh, wow. She's, she's the rainbow. She's got like a, she made like a crown and her hair now is rainbow hair. Wow. That's great. There's a sun in the sky and there's, she made clouds. That's great. That's really good. And on live television, just demonstrating her expertise, talent, her creative potential blossoming and blooming before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. I mean, I, you know, it's gonna, yeah. When she starts making her own, uh, uh, YouTube channel and stuff, you guys are going to be blown away. You really are. She's just, uh. all right. So, uh, I'm trying to get this track. I want to split it at, uh, edit. Uh, split. Somehow GarageBand was in this mode of the of the patch. It was giving the menu for uh, the patch that had been applied. All right. So theoretically, uh, I'm I'm ready to go with this, and it should just uh, not scream at me. Oh, she's got shoes. She's got some pink shoes. The princess has pink shoes. Can um, Freya, can daddy do his, uh, record his track? I'm going to the fuzz vocal, but actually I'm going to go track and I'm going to add a, a new track and uh, put, and I'm just playing around here. Uh, I'm going to put a voice track and dance, which has got some reverb on it. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to dance for sure. All right, so I'm back to the beginning. Let's see if we can record this. Oh God, is it too loud? All right, yeah, it is. That's okay. I'll cut that out later. Let's go back to the beginning. All right. Uh, don't be told what you want to want to. And don't be told what you want to need. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Um. All right. I'll cut that out later. They made you a moron Potential wage bomb God save the queen She ain't no human being There is no future In England's dreaming Now be told what you want to want to And don't be told what you want to need There's no future, no future, no future for you Say the queen. We mean it, man. We love 
Please be gentle with the guitar, dear. Uh, so, so I've got I got my two uh, vocal tracks, and you know uh, what what was it? I I uh, I, th I think I, that's uh, we're the future, your future. It's got to be that we love our queen. God saves, right? So I did that wrong. So, but you know we're we're working in an open classroom setting. Mm. And um, yeah, so we need to add a track, track, new track, needs to be a voice track, put it down, go get my voice, and I'm, I'm going to get like a natural voice, right, just kind of really just familiarizing myself with the results. What happens when I lay these three down together? What, what's it, the outcome like? Um, so, <clears throat> and, and this to, to anybody that's, that's trying to do what I'm doing, like I'd like, I'd like to have another guitarist maybe put a track on top like if I stream this, then somebody could get my stream and run it in their stream and add whatever they, they wanted to on top of it, right? So I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to to do that. I'm waiting to see if my brain is going to do something. It will eventually. I'll cut that out later. God save the queen, the fascist regime. They made you a moron, potential wage bomb. That's too screwed up, right? Okay, so go back again, right? And so I, I want to... All right. I'll cut that out later. I 
Let's see the queen. The fascist regime. They made you a moron. Potential wage bomb. Can't see the queen. She ain't no human being. There is no future. In England's dreaming. We need it, man. We love our queen. God saves. God save the queen. Cause for some money. And now if you get it, it's not what she seems. Oh, God save the story. God save the macaroon. Oh, God have mercy. All crimes are paid. When the future can be seen When the flowers in your dustbin With the poison in your human machine With the future, your future God's in the green We mean it, man We love our queen God saves the God saves Say the queen, we mean it, man. There is no future in England's dreaming. No future, no future, no future for me. No future, no future, no future for you. Okay, a couple of things right now is uh, the the first one up here. I'm gonna go back back up here and at the. Uh, uh, I need to get into my uh, playhead uh, selection state mode or whatever. No, no, no. Why did that close? Okay. All right. So uh, I go to edit and GarageBand and go split regions at playhead. And now I, I can just hit delete. It knows what I want to trim, so I can just go. All right, now I'm going to the vocal track and uh, the situation that I have where. I need to go back to the very beginning of the song. And that, you know, that comment I make where I, I go, oh, that noise. <laughs> I'll cut that out later. I'm going to cut it out right now. So let's see. Uh, split regions at playhead and select that bad boy and delete it. All right, so uh, I'm going back to the dance vocal track and I should uh, delete that and, uh, and, and do it again because it's. Uh, Hey! What of this? <laughs> you got some chocolate on your nose? Is that what you have? She's got chocolate face and chocolate nose. But she, man, she ate so much. She had a whole pack of oatmeal, and then she had two uh, 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 blueberry waffles, and then she had two big scrambled eggs, and she had uh, a fruity cereal, and then she had. Uh, a chocolate chip cookie cereal, and and then yeah, the delightful, delicious ice cream. You got chocolate on your nose. Why don't you go get some tissue, and we'll end the bathroom. And... Oh, okay, well if that's the way you want to put it. Okay, so um.
Let's try this. <laughs> No, don't pick up the guitar. Okay, let's set it straight. Okay, um, and uh, this should be the last uh, track that we're gonna have. God save the queen She ain't no human being There is no future In England's The meaning Korean market, Nam Dai Mun, which is a global um, uh, a Korean supermarket, which is, man, they got some good stuff in there. I love it. Okay. But um, one thing that they have, they have these little crispy uh, layer things with real chocolate in between the layers, so it's like a little stack or whatever like that. And when you buy it, you can feel the layers of chocolate like breaking up, you know, delicious chocolate uh, delight um, flavors of things. Uh, so, anyway, um, I'm closing in on the end of the stream, and um, what I what I th I don't know if Sadia is still there. You know, uh, that was kind of that's kind of a tough tough stream or whatever. Uh, with with a, but it, but it's kind of kind of interesting. Kind of shows what the positive work environment is. Um, and and what it takes to, to get uh, a tune down. So um, having said that, like uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through uh, with uh, um, I, I'm gonna go get my natural vocal. That's that's the one that I like to put on the the very last. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record, but I'm gonna run through this uh, one more time and see if my daughter will let me go through it to give you sort of an idea of what it's gonna be like when uh, uh, when it goes on on stream. Queen. 
La fascia è strangina, è meglio un morano. Attenzione H-Bomb, God save the Queen. She ain't no human being, there is no future. And England's the ringing. Now the time I want you, want you, want to end up with all that you want to mean. There's no future, no future, no future for you. God said the queen. We mean it, man. There is a queen. God says. God said the queen. Cause we're somebody. And I think your head is not what she seems. Oh, God save us the rain. God save you from parade. Oh, Lord, God have mercy on all crimes are paid. When there's a future, can I be seen? With the flowers in your dustbin. With the poison in your human machine. With the future, your future. God save the queen. We mean it, man. We love our queen. God says. God say the queen. We mean it, man. There is no future in England's dreaming. No future, no future, no future for me. No future, no future, no future for you. She's like, why are you not talking to me? Well, dear, I was not talking. I didn't mean to not be talking to you, but I'm making a recording, right? And if I interrupt the recording, it's, it's, it's got to start over from scratch. And that just drags things out. All right, so with that, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope maybe it was helpful a little bit. That's how I do it. If I'm doing it a stupid way, I hope somebody will please tell me. Oh, oh, so, yeah. Here's where you need to reach. See, up here is the camera. See, see the camera lens up there? See? Please don't leave me. Uh, please don't what? <laughs> Feed me. Feed you? No, leave me. Leave you? I'm not going to leave you. I ain't got no car. The car's in the, um, car's in the no, shop room. here. Man, I couldn't even get a beer if no. I wanted a beer. Oh, my, I'm Jones and now. No, just room. Thinking, no room. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm so proud of you. And you today, she drew so many drawings upstairs. You should see uh, all the drawings with the different markers she made. And she drew the cat, and she drew the cat's food bowl, and she drew the she drew the cat's uh, special brown little uh, uh, little food kitty food uh, thing. I get the chicken. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I said it looked like chicken nuggets. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken yeah. But she's a, she, she's doing a chicken dance. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, I walked in town on silver spurs that jangled to ba da 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 da. It's a song that I only sang to just a few. She saw my silver spurs and said, Let's pass some time. And I will give to you some wine. Um, I want to stay forever. <laughs>
<laughs> Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in the spring. Ba -da -da. My summer wine is really made from all these things. Take off your yeah, you silver have. spurs and help me out. pass the time. <laughs> And I will give to you a summer wine. Oh, summer wine. My head felt heavy and my lips, they could not speak. But I, I tried to get up, but I couldn't find my feet. She reassured me with an unfamiliar line, ba -da 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 -da. and then she gave to me a more summer wine, ooh, summer wine. When I woke up, the sun was shining in my eyes, ba -da 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 -da. My silver spurs were gone, my head felt twice its size. She took my silver spurs, a dollar and a dime, and left me praying for more summer wine. Ooh, summer wine. Okay, let me let me get off this. All right, so I will see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the stream. And we'll be back with more educational, uh, mephistificational, uh, representationals uh, a little bit later on. All right.